Hey guys, Matt here. Welcome to Learn to Discern. In this video today, I am going to take just a few minutes to provide you with 15 different passages of scripture that very clearly show us that Jesus is God. But before we get to that, if you want to help promote Christian content here on YouTube, please take a second now to subscribe to my channel and thank you in advance. Okay guys, here we go. Okay, so number one comes to us from the Old Testament. In Jeremiah chapter 23, in verse 5, God the Father speaks of a coming righteous branch who will be in the line of David. This is clearly a reference to the Messiah. And speaking of this Messiah, he says that his name will be the Lord our righteousness, or Yahweh our righteousness. So clearly, God the Father is calling the Messiah the Lord. Number two, in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, when giving the names of the coming Messiah, one of the names that is given is Mighty God. So not only is the name God in that title, in the Hebrew, it is the term El Gabor. That is important because in Isaiah chapter 10, just one chapter over, God the Father is called El Gabor. So obviously we see that there is a unity between God the Father and El Gabor, God the Son. For number three, we move to the New Testament and one of the clearest passages in all of the Bible. John chapter one, verse one says, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. It is made very clear from the rest of John chapter one that the word is referring to Jesus. So obviously Jesus is God. Number four, in John chapter five, the Jews attempt to kill Jesus because he is making himself equal to God. That means that they were able to pick up from his sayings and from his teaching that he considered himself to be equal with God. Number five, in John chapter eight, when speaking to the religious leaders, Jesus made this statement, before Abraham was, I am. It is very clear that that is a reference back to the book of Exodus when God revealed himself to the people as I am. In fact, when Jesus made this statement, the Pharisees and the people there picked up stones in an attempt to kill him because he had called himself the I am, calling himself God. Number six, in case it wasn't clear, in John chapter 10, people once again attempt to kill Jesus and they charge him with blasphemy because he is saying that he is God. Number seven, in John chapter 20, after the resurrection of Jesus, when his disciple Thomas sees him, he responds by calling him, my Lord and my God. Number eight, in Colossians chapter one, it tells us that all things were created by Jesus. Since we know that all things were created by God, we therefore know that Jesus is God. In Acts chapter 20, it tells us that God purchased the church with his own blood. Since we know that it was Jesus who shed his blood on the cross, obviously when it speaks of God purchasing with his own blood, that is a reference to Jesus who is God. Number 10, in Matthew chapter 1, before Jesus was even born, his parents were told to name him Emmanuel, a name which means God with us. Indeed, Jesus' birth would be God coming to earth. Number 11, in Philippians chapter 2, it says that Jesus was in the form of God, yet took on the form of man. So that means he eternally existed as God, yet in a real moment in history, took on the form of a man. Number 12, Colossians chapter 2 in verse 9 says that in Jesus, the fullness of the deity dwells in bodily form. Number 13, in the opening verse of 2 Peter, Jesus is referred to not only as Savior, but as God. Number 14, in Hebrews chapter 1, God the Father speaks about the Son and says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. That is God the Father clearly calling the Son God. And number 15, 1 John chapter 5 and verse 20 tells us very clearly that Jesus is the true God. Okay, guys, I hope this video today was helpful to you and helps you to have a better grasp and a more firm understanding of the fact that Jesus is eternally God. If this content has been helpful to you and you want to get more Christian teaching out on YouTube, please take a second to subscribe to my channel. Also, please remember that you can partner together with me financially in ministry as I have profiles on both Patreon and Ko-fi. I will put links to them both down below in the description. You can give a one-time gift or sign up for monthly recurring donations. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, God bless.